Hello everyone! Welcome! Welcome to another Root Point Beginner Series video! Welcome! Welcome in! So I'm still wearing the heart shirt we designed last time. Oh, the backpack. Hold on, let me take off the backpack. You can't even appreciate the back of the tank top. I'm still wearing... Oh, you can't see it because of my hair. I'm still wearing the tank top that we designed last time. Didn't take it off yet, but if you want to see it... Hold on, if you want to see the full thing, let me go ahead and put it right here. Display here. And I do believe that's the front. Yep, that's definitely the front. So now I'm going to stand here. And I'm going to display here. And that should be the back. And as you can clearly see, you get a much bigger heart when you design it yourself rather than using the stamp. So depending on the size you want, you know. But I figured today we'd just do a more casual video. Just go around our island, explore the scenes, talk to our people, do all the typical normal day-to-day -day island stuff that I usually don't focus on too much when I'm recording a video. And later today, we'll be visiting KK. Can't visit him right now because it's not 6 o'clock. As you can see, it's 3.07 p.m. That's the actual time. Hey, Willow, how's it going? There you are, Boteep, and looking fabulous as ever, I see. What's the latest? There's something about this time of day I always seem to get a wee bit sleepy. Oh, my, what was I saying? Oh, poor Willow. Hey, Agnes. What's up, Snuffle? Where are you headed? Let's talk. Sometimes I can't tell if a gray day feels peaceful or ominous. Looks like we got some sort of announcement. Let's go ahead and read it. It says... Shop remodel notice. Nook Cranny is open for business again. Our remodel gives us more space for more goods. So stop on by and check out our updated shop. Oh yeah, I don't think we've done that yet. We should probably go do that. Alright, let's go down here and check out the newly remodeled Nook's Cranny. Hello, hello, welcome to Nook's Cranny. And as you can see, there's uh, more items in the back. Before, they got more space, they got new flooring, they got these little side items now on these tables, and they got three items in the back, as well as seasonal items that are right here. So just as an example, I guess I'll buy the treadmill. I don't really need the treadmill, but we'll buy the treadmill. Oh, I guess we can't buy the treadmill. That's expensive. Okay, this is a good way to show that some things are more than your budget. Let's see, is the guitar cheaper? That's better. We'll buy the guitar instead. And then, for some of you, if you don't know, you can go over here to uh, the cabinet and when you open up the cabinet, press the R button to go to where they have the wallpaper and the flooring. I know for the longest time, uh, my roommate, Chrissy, she didn't know about that. So if you're looking for wallpaper and flooring, just click to the right. And when you're done, just click back over to the left and we'll go back to the tools. Alright, see you later, boys. Now, there is an additional note that I wanted to talk to you when it comes to KK. Whenever a KK is on your island, your villagers will not ask to leave. They will not ask to leave. So remember, whenever you have KK, they will not ask to leave. Alright. Now I gotta go empty my pockets, so we're gonna go into my house. Alright, let's go ahead and put some of this stuff away. 
I'm going to do my very best to try not to edit this so you can see what it's like when I'm just playing and not worrying about, you know, recording everything. Alright, let's put that away. Let's put that away. I don't know why I have a bad habit of saying, oh, I'm going to put that away and I'm going to put that away. And I'm like, I don't need to say that, but I guess it's just habit. It's just habit. But you got to be careful when you don't have a lot of storage. Because at some point it'll say, oh, your storage is full. We're probably going to sell some of these shells. Put that away. That's the guitar that we bought. We'll put that away. We'll get the fossil assessed. Alright, that's everything we needed to put away. Alright, let's see how our storage is doing. We have... 286 out of 320, so we're, we're getting pretty close. We are getting pretty close. One of the things you can do is you can hang up your clothes, and that'll help with your storage. So we're going to go over here to this side room, and we're just going to hang as much clothes as we can on the wall, even if it looks ridiculous, because at least then it saves us storage space. So go in here and click on the wall. And then we're going to move this clock over here. Move it over here. And now go into your clothing. And then bloop, 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 bloop. Until it fusses at you that there's no space. And then just arrange. Arrange the clothes however you want. You can arrange it by color, you can arrange it by pattern, you can arrange it by the ones that you like the most. Whatever your, uh, whatever your style is. I just, you know, put things where they fit. I, I usually shove all my clothes in a drawer, because I don't hang my clothes up. I don't have nearly enough hangers for that. I barely have enough hangers for the dresses that I own. And then go back in here. And you can already see that we got a lot going on over here. And I'll show you how much space it saves you to do this. And I didn't go out of my way to buy like a bunch of clothes. This is just, you know, what I have. And then pants. I did buy all those shorts though. So I wanted those shorts. So let's put the pants over here and put the shorts down here. Put the suits over here. Just arranging this better. Okay, let's put the camel pants down there. Okay, do we have anything else? We have some hats that we could put up. One, two, three, four. Can I fit one more? Maybe. Oh yeah, I could definitely fit one more. And then one over here. Where did that other one go? Oh, okay. They're all in a row. And then these ones. Over here. Now, let me show you how much space we saved by doing that. Now, we have 233 out of 320. 
See, that saved us quite a bit of space doing that. Well, we got enough miles. What we get? All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, let's check our mail. Diva sent us something. To the hardworking Nala, you know I have no patience for slacking off, but that ain't the same thing as taking breaks. Even I can't go 100% all the time. Something's gonna give. Life's already tough, so you don't gotta make it tougher. Your best bud, Diva. Here are the books that we ordered. Alright. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and open our books. We're gonna get our shovel out because we're gonna go around the island and see if we can't find our fossils. I don't think there's any back here. Just checking real quick. Don't see nothing there. Nate, have you seen any fossils, bud? You seen any? You gotta let me know. I wonder if any fossils will show up on that mushroom. Who knows? I guess we'll find out. Don't see any right now. Nothing over here. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's a gyroid. It's not a fossil at all. But yes, every day on your island, you get at least four fossils. If you've missed a few the previous day, there will be five. But usually there's four. <laughs> hey! Hey, Callie! Out for a stroll, Nyla? Yep. I see you're admiring the, uh, the river. get back on track. Oh, there's a bee there. I don't necessarily need a bee, but I'm gonna catch it. Alright. Now we're gonna go up here. Get this weed. Get our shovel out and get the fossil. There's a fossil over here. Now I do have a question for, for all of you. Do you think I should put an incline to get up to the campsite? Or do you think I should maybe just put some vines there? Let me know, because I could easily put a camp, uh, an incline in here. Or do you think it should just be vines? Let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Alright, nothing over here. Let's get back down. Over here. 
Oh, by the way, that path I was telling you about? What do you think? This is just a, a base. A base for now. It'll be better with time. We'll go over here, see if we got any fossils. We do got a weed. Gotta pick up the weeds. I don't see any fossils over here. At least not yet. And we'll take the ladder up here. Let her down. And look over here and see if we see anything. Oh, there's one. You can tell I don't check this every day. A ladybug. Don't want to scare it away. Got it! That's new, so we're gonna have to give that to Blathers. Let's head on down. Hey, Groucho. I'm tired from just watching how busy you are, Grumble. Let's chat. Now, did I turn off the stove before I left home? That's assuming I have a stove at home, mind you. Pretty sure I got a home, at least. Yeah, your home's right here, buddy. Hey, Ava. How's your day going, Beaker? Chat with me. I try to be a good listener. You can talk to me anytime, Beaker. Explain what to do when your villager is sick? Because poor Portia, she's sick as a dog. Look at her with her red nose. Let's go get her some medicine. We'll be right back, honey. Okay, so there's two ways you can do this. A, you can make medicine, which you'll need a wasp nest for. So I'm going to let myself get stung. I don't care. I need to make medicine. And I don't know if I have a wasp nest right now, so we're gonna try to find one. I'm gonna try to find one for her. Pick that piece of money up later. Go down here. Find one eventually. Come on, wasp. Sting me already. Not often you want to be stung. Keep trying. Wow, so far nothing. I don't have my gates open, so it can't be that. Sweet. Where are the bees? I thought I would find one by now. That's a bagworm. That's an item. I didn't shake the tree that she was by because I accidentally talked to her. No. 
Nope. We will find one. Man, I did not think it would take this long to find a bee. Bees. Well, I'm sure that one of these trees is a bee in it. Come on, trees. Well, so far this lesson is not going according to plan. Should have got stung by now. Did I already get the bees for today? Since I can't find a bee, I'm going to have to do this a different way.
Alright. Let's go get some medicine. So, if you can't find a wasp, and you don't have any medicine in your inventory, which I'm not sure if I do, I'd have to go check. You can! You can get medicine right from Nook's Cranny, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go down to Nook's Cranny and buy some medicine. <sighs> so, go over to the medicine cabinet. And you'll see it there displayed on the top shelf. Go over here. And buy five. I always buy five at a time. Nope, I'm good. Alright. See you later, boys. And I can tell it's gonna rain soon, so let's, uh... Let's hurry before it starts. Let's get her feeling better. Pick this up. While we're here. Alright, you can see she's still not doing well. She just sneezed in my face. Oh dear, ouch, ouch! This headache is just awful. Here, this will help. Medicine is precisely what I need. You're my savior, darling. Now go ahead and give her the medicine. Ah, uh, I'm sure I'll be back to myself in no time. In the meantime, I'll be sure to rest up. You know, darling, everyone should have a friend like you. Please allow me to give you this thank you gift. I do hope you like it. It's a cassette player. Now, she gave me a piece of furniture, which means we're closer friends than we were before. Next time you feel horrid and can't get out of bed, I'll be sure to come take care of you. Oh, that'd be real nice, Portia. Alright, so now that that's taken care of, we're gonna go down here because I think our hair might be crafting. He might be crafting. It's either him or Rudy. It's O'Hare. Let's go see what he's making. Oh, Nyla, welcome to the lay house of O'Hare. What you doing? Glad you asked. I'm just making some log steaks. Must be keen to me in a dream. Oh, you already know how to make some log steaks? Sure do. Well, great minds think alike, don't they? Ha ha. Thing is, I already have the recipe written down here, so take it with you and share it with a friend. Everyone deserves a chance to make the log steaks designed by yours truly. Just think, what if my log steaks became the next big DIY craze? You could help start an international phenomenon, amigo. Alright, well, we don't need to learn that. Now, like I said, each and every day you'll get some nook, some daily nook miles that you can do. It wants us to dive. Get coffee, chop wood, change our clothes, and catch some bugs. So we can easily do all of that. And we already got gyroid getter. Woohoo! Did we get anything else? Nope, that's it. And anytime you have something new, it'll show you, like we caught that ladybug. It'll say that it hasn't been donated yet, so we need to go to donate that ladybug to the museum. We also have a Five, no, six. We have six fossils to get assessed. So we need to take care of that as well. So might as well take care of it all in one big shot, right? And I'm pretty sure log sticks is one of the recipes that you get at the beginning of the game. So I highly doubt anyone will need a spare thing of log sticks. But just in case, I've been uh, keeping my spare DIYs down here. I will eventually have to pick them up because you can only have 15 things dropped on your island at a time before Isabel will complain that your island is too messy. So let's go in, get these fossils assessed, and donate the ladybug, and then we'll go get some coffee. Woo! 
Oh dear, pardon me. Oh, hello, Nyla. Welcome to the Root Point Museum. How may I be of assistance? Assess fossils. Whoa, what would you like me to assess them all with letter? Now, the more and more you do this, the more and more it'll be harder to get ones that are new. Because once you've donated a certain amount of times, it and complete more of your collection, it's going to be harder to find fossils that you don't have. Which means if there's nothing new we have to give him, we have to give him the bug. And when you give him just a bug, he freaks out. Watch this. Eek! A ladybug! What a wretched thing! The last time obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about this specimen? We're gonna say yes. Just this once. Ah, I see. In that case, ahem. Yes, yes. Ladybugs are quite beloved thanks to their tiny round shape and adorable spots. To that I say, bah! The fact of the matter is, some have stripes instead of spots, and some have no markings at all. No, I shall never understand why they said that when a ladybug lands on you, you'll have good luck. I shall only have a fainting spell. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though Bugs are the bane of my assistance, rest assured the Richard thing will get the best care here. Alright, we're all done. Alright, let's go get some coffee. Let's go get some coffee. Nice day for some coffee, hmm? It's 200 bells a cup if you'd like. Yes, please. Cool, thank you very much. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and talk to Nate. The coffee didn't smell so good, I don't know that I'd ever put it in my tum tum. Yawn. So now, we already know that there's not a lot of bees, so it should be pretty safe to chop some wood. find some bugs because it's about to rain and when it rains there's not nearly as many bugs. Do we have the space to catch a few more? Yep we do. Okay. Let's see if we can find a few more bugs. That would just go into the tree. And the other thing was diving, right? Oh, we still gotta change our clothes. Which we hung most of our clothes up, which means we're not gonna have anything in our inventory. So let's go... Let's go take care of that.
get changed. All we gotta do to change clothes is just put something different on. Let's see. Let's put the dog nose on. Maybe take off our glasses. Should we put on the turquoise specs? Take off the knee bandages. Put some. Uh, no, we don't want anything on. No accessories. Since it is going to rain, we might want to put on some better shoes. The trekking shoes, I don't think we have anything else to wear. Nope, that's good. And it still counts. Good. Alright, the last thing it wants us to do is go diving. So we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna put on our wetsuit. Pockets are almost full, so we're gonna let these bird we're gonna let these uh, blue bottles go. Because they're pretty common. You can catch them anytime. We're gonna keep the honeybee though, so I'm not sure if I need the honeybee or not. Because I did start to form a collection. Oh I already do have I already do have three honeybees. Okay, I can let it go then. I'm trying to collect some of the bottles, so I'm just hoarding, hoarding the bugs I catch and making sure I have three of everything. No, I wanted to release it. Okay, now we can go diving. Which if you go in where there's a fish, you'll scare the fishy away. So just know if there's a fish that you want to catch, make sure you catch it before you head into the ocean. And you want to look for the bubbles, and then you want to press um, press the dive button, which is why. Press the dive button. We got an octopus. And if you hold down the A button while you're swimming, you swim slowly without having to spam the A button to go faster. So you can just swim like that and you'll get there. At pretty much the same time, you need to go fast when you're under the water, especially when you're after a fast sea critter. A seaweed's not very fast, but if I see a fast critter, I'll, I'll show you. Let's see, got something over here. Nope, more seaweed. Okay. Alright, we finished all our nook miles. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab this last one up here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. Oh, joy. My favorite one. Alright, I think I'm going to end the video right here. So, if you enjoyed this more relaxed, more chill video that doesn't really explain a whole lot, I don't think. I can't even remember what we touched on, if we touched on anything. But if you enjoyed this, do let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, stay safe, stay awesome, and always know, you're sweet as a pineapple. Alright everyone!